Today we're demonstrating the differences between the ASTM configuration pack for Holebase and the advanced ASTM configuration pack for Holebase that is developed by Data Forensics. The main differences between the standard and the advanced or even the British configuration pack is the inclusion of these additional tables for describing your soil, rock, and additional discontinuity capabilities. So if we open the field geological description soil, what you will see is that we have a grid that has a lot of different fields. And if we turn this into, so we can edit it, you'll see that each of these fields is a drop-down list. And so it comes pre-loaded with drop-down list values that can be configured by you. Um, and nobody needs all of these but it's a very comprehensive set that, that everybody needs a, a subset of generally. And then of course there's always the capability of putting some other text in that's not a drop-down list where you can type in whatever you want. So this is very similar to what you would have on your tablet. And so essentially your data from P-Log or if you just use this in Holebase without P-Log, you can fill in this data and it will populate your geological description in your table that you're using today. So all of your existing reports will still continue to work. And let me just show you how that actually works. So if I want to change this from medium dense to dense to let's say it's very loose to medium dense. So I just made those changes there. If I go to my field geological descriptions table, you'll see that it still says medium dense to dense because I haven't reloaded the data. As soon as I reload the data, it now says very loose to medium dense. So the description can be built with the ordering and formatting and punctuation that you want, which essentially eliminates that burden on your personnel and having to worry about people doing things consistently. You don't have to worry about ordering, formatting, spelling, punctuation, uppercase, lowercase, anything like that. That's all managed by Data Forensics plugin for Holebase SI. So whether you're doing that for soil or you're doing that for rock, we have the same concept. You have your drop-down list, you change your drop-down list values, it populates the field geological descriptions table. The same concept applies on discontinuities where we have a description field that gets built based on all the values that you select from various drop-down lists or text fields or numeric fields. And so these descriptions can be built to whatever your company standard is so that everybody is automatically complying if they record the data. It's all about the data. We love data, not information. So some other advantages that this component description approach enables is that you can now utilize this data for querying, filtering, for modeling in the AutoCAD Civil 3D extension. So if you want to model based on your depositional environment, it's not something where you're going to then have to come back and update field geology codes or legend codes and those sorts of things. You can model based on any one of these parameters in the field geological description, soil, rock, or discontinuities tables. So you've greatly expanded what you can do with your data how you can manipulate your data, how you can report it, analyze it, filter it. So with that, let's come back and let's actually do a quick log just so you can see what's happening. And here's that very loose to medium dense soil description that you can now see is printed. And it's following our company's standard protocol with the proper ordering, formatting, punctuation, uppercase, lowercase, any type of uh, thing like that that we care about. So. Data Forensics is here to help you utilize your data, record data, not information, analyze it, visualize it, and make your data great again.